Bob Marley famously sang, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. I love Bob Marley and I have to say he was right. Hear me now, let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a TEDx speaker sit and present? No. Why is that? Is it because they want to look cooler? Be more in control? Or hog the stage? Probably all of those, but the real reason is physiological. So why do we always sit and present when we do our virtual meetings? Sitting kills your energy and your physicality. I'm not saying stand for all your meetings, but for the important ones, most definitely. Here's why. When you stand, your lungs have more space to fill up with air and your respiratory rate is 4.5% less. Your lungs also take in 17.2% more air in terms of volume and 11.5% more oxygen in your system, which lowers your cortisol levels, makes you more relaxed and influences your tone. In addition to this, you have a more dominant posture. You are more relaxed and you have more options in terms of physicality and using your hands. All of this makes for a more engaging presence, more energetic and more assertive. I always do this for my voiceovers, for my virtual classes and for my one-on-one -on -one coachings. Standing whilst presenting is the one thing that delivers the biggest improvement in performance when presenting. From coaching thousands of professionals around the world, standing is the one thing that delivers the biggest impact, the biggest bang for buck in terms of performance improvement. Share in the comments below if you've ever tried standing whilst presenting and how did that work out for you? And also share your favorite Bob Marley song.